Welcome to part 2 of the Symphony 2 tutorial. In this part I will demonstrate how to create a simple block using the built-in uh, Symphony 2 scaffolding features. To begin, open a command prompt uh, on your Windows machine and uh, navigate to the directory that your uh, uh, Symphony uh, files are residing in. In my case, this would be XAMPP HDDocs Symphony 2. Sorry, it's uh, RAMP. Okay, and um, this is the uh, standard directory uh, for Symphony, so. What we want to here do is first we want to check the version um, of our uh, Symphony uh, installation. Uh, PHP app. Um, so in this case, um, we have version 2.2.1. Anything higher than 2.2 is fine. So uh, what we will do now is we will generate a bundle for our block. So um, console generate bundle, and that brings up the uh, bundle generation wizard. Um, I'm going to call this uh, Pete block bundle as uh, the namespace and uh, the bundle name uh, Pete blog bundle is fine I'm gonna hit enter to accept the default target directory is where uh, the bundle will be generated so uh, again that the default is fine so I'm just gonna hit enter and um, I'm gonna use a YML for my configuration file and do you want to generate the whole directory structure? Yes, we want uh, the scaffolding feature to generate our directory hierarchy. Um, do you confirm generation? Yes. So um, it generated the bundle. Uh, checking that the bundle is uh, auto loaded OK. Uh, and we will confirm that it, that it needs to update our kernel file. Uh, for the bundle to, so that we can reference it. So I'm just going to say yes. Confirm automatic update of the routing. This feature updates the routing to include the new bundle uh, path that we have. So I'm just going to say yes to that also. And uh, that really uh, finishes um, the uh, first part of the scaffolding, which is it generates our uh, directory highest hierarchy for us. So if I now go to the app um, resources, I'm sorry, if I go to um, if I now go to the SRC uh, directory, I see a uh, subdirectory called Pete and my uh, blog bundle is inside of here um, uh, basically has uh, created the folder uh, structure for us. So here there's a, several different files here. The default controller is this guy right here. And it's not a whole lot in here other than it just um, passes the name in. And the other um, folder is the resource folder and here's where all our views reside in uh, the uh, twig file and uh, there's also a configuration folder and this is where actually your routing resides in and the value that you have here dictates how um, your um, namespace uh, should be called so what I'm going to do here is um, going to navigate to from from my root symphony 2 folder 
I'm going to web app underscore dev dot php and I'm gonna type in here hello Pete and that brings up our bundle which is hello Pete so uh, it is working we do have a, a couple of different things to do still and for that I'm going to go back to our um, command line scaffolding uh, interface and first I'm going to create the database for um, our uh, uh, Symfony application so I'm going to say PHP app console doctrine database create and it will go and it will actually physically create the Symfony 2 database based on what you've specified in the configuration file so the next um, command that we will execute is uh, php app console doc trend schema update dump SQL. And what this does is it will dump the uh, um, um, SQL statement um, for our uh, database onto um, um, uh, the uh, screen. But before we do that, um, well, let's do that first. And it says no metadata uh, classes to process. Well, that's because we haven't created the objects yet, and that's something that we also have to do. So, um, what I will do here now is I'm going to generate the entity for our block. So, uh, for that, we will execute the PHP app console gen doctrine entity and this will actually create the object for us which we will use for our block so um, uh, the entity short name uh, we will call this Pete blog bundle colon post and it will ask if I want what type of format I want to use I'm gonna go with YML again and next it will ask me what kinds of fields I would like to generate so I'm going to uh, generate a title field uh, field type of string with a field length of 255 next I will generate a body field of type text and we will also do a published at field of type date time and uh, we will say uh, let's just hit enter to finish and um, do we want to generate an empty repository class uh, no we do not so I'm just going to accept the default here and um, it will ask me if I want to uh, confirm and generate the entity I'm going to say yes and it will um, generate a code so what this now did if we go back to our directory and uh, refresh this guy and the inside of this entity folder you will see a file called post.php and inside of that is our object that we just generated using the wizard so uh, here's our namespace and we've got an ID a title a body and a published at and it also generated all the get and set uh, functions for us which we will use to uh, set values to it so it did a lot of work for us uh, automatically and that is a good thing so next 
we are now ready to um, try another um, SQL dump to the screen to see what we will get. Uh, PHP app console and uh, doctrine schema update dump SQL. So this time around it does generate a create table statement for us and shows it on the screen. So we want to force it to update the database with this information. So I'm going to do a hyphen force to force it to do that. App console doctrine schema update force. So it went through and it updated uh, the schema for us. Now if we um, go to localhost uh, PHP my admin, so if we take a look at our database now we should see this table in the database. So I'm going to scroll to Symphony 2 and notice there's a post table here and here are our fields and the, with the data types that we specified. So we're in good shape here. Um, so we have our database and um, now we are ready to generate the CRUD operation. In order to do that, um, there's another command. Lots of commands here. So um, there's a command uh, called uh, PHP App Console and Doctrine Generate CRUD. And this command will actually generate our read and write uh, statements and CRUD operations. So here for the entity short name again is Pete blog bundle post and it will ask us if we want to write the actions of course yes and um, configuration we we'll keep YML and um, route prefix we're gonna uh, accept the default of slash post that's fine and uh, do we want to confirm and generate? Yes. So it will go through and it will generate the CRUD. Um, and it will ask you, do you want to update the uh, routing? Now if we say yes, it will fail. It, it won't be able to write it because we're actually using it. So um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to this routing.yml inside of my bundle and I'm going to have to add this um, code sec segment right here. So let's do that uh, quickly. Post blog bundle resources config I believe this is it um, resources config routing and YML yep so this is the guy and we will just paste this guy in here um, let's do a better job of aligning these guys. There we go. So save it and that's pretty much it for that. Alright, so now we're ready to uh, run our blog to see what we've got. So the first thing that I'm going to run here is the um, um, post. 
So this is our list of posts. Uh, again, without writing a single line of code, we've generated this block. So this is the post list. Uh, you can click on create a new entry. Here we'll call this uh, blog entry one. And body, this is the body of blog entry one. And publish date, we are. This is August. Uh, this is, I'm sorry, April 30th and 2013. And I have uh, 304. And we created. Notice that as soon as we created it, it started listing it um, on our um, post list. And here, if we go back to our list of uh, posts, now it's listing it for us. Now we do have the ability to edit, and when you, when we click on the edit link, it will bring up again the same form, which you can edit and save. And um, now let's uh, make another one: um, junk post, junk post body. and let's see if we can delete it also alright so if I now go in my junk post and hit delete it will delete my entry too so we've pretty much created a functional block now there's not a whole it doesn't look too good but it's functional so um, I hope you found this use, uh, useful this is again part two of the Symphony 2 uh, tutorials um, Please subscribe and leave comments, um, and uh, stay tuned for part three. Uh, um, and in part three, we will try to give this uh, block system uh, a better uh, look. Thanks.